Hi, this is the, a video explaining how Padding Oracle Attack works, plus how to encrypt using Padding Oracle Attacks. So you need to first understand how Padding Oracle Attack work. Uh, so it takes, it starts from the last ciphertext, uh, and it go, it decrypt using the key, and then there's an intermediate block right here, and that intermediate block is XOR with the previous cipher text block to get the plain text and this is the clear explanation for it so we want this intermediate block right here we want to get this intermediate block so we can use it to XOR with the cipher text of previous block to get the plain text this is another graph explaining it we don't know what the intermediate text is, but we can manipulate the cipher text of the previous block, and we can let the padding error tell us if we are right. We can get the byte that way. So that leads us to how padding works in PKCS7 to get the value of the uh, PF PKCS7 gets the value of the last byte of the plain text and remove that many bytes from the end of the, of the plain text. So in this example, since ZOB is 11 in hex, they re it removes 11 bytes from the back. Notice that uh, the last byte is the padding byte, is the byte that determines the padding. So, and uh, all the padding bytes need to be of the same value as the padding byte to remove it. So if you have 0x5, zero, zero as the padding byte and the next padding byte is 0xb it will return a padding error because it's not 0x5 right here that means that uh, if we manipulate the first the last uh, I mean the last five bytes into 0x5 we would get a valid valid plain text ie plain text that does not does not return a padding error but you may ask but isn't the plain text still wrong yes but to the computer, it would just treat it at bytes and, was and it will still print it out with no errors. Example is this output, it just print out sleep and 0xb bytes. The point of this is to, bru to brute force the plain text one byte at a time, not to return the exact correct plain text all the time. But how does that leak any information? How padding byte errors leak information? So. Suppose we only set the last four bytes to 0x5 right here. Now the fifth byte from the right is still the original padding right here. Remember how the intermediate text XOR with the cors corresponding corresponding byte of the last cipher text return the cors corresponding byte of the plain text. So that would look like this. The intermediate text right here XOR with this byte return this plain text byte. That means we can just brute force this byte, we just try random things right here until this one return no padding error which means that is when this byte is 0x5 which matches the rest of the padding manipulate byte and ping until our plain text returns no padding error and if you recall the properties of XOR we now have all the, all the information we need to retrieve the byte of the intermediate block so to review the properties of XOR, 0xe, XOR with 0x4 equals 0x2, and 0x2, XOR with 0x4 equals 0xe. All you can think of is as XOR encountering the value previously XOR out. Example, canceling any value previously XOR out. Example, 0xe, XOR, 0x4 equals 0x2, 0xe, XOR, 0x4, XOR with 0x4 again equal to 0xe. And because 0x4, XOR with 0x4 equals 0, this whole expression is equal to 0xe, XOR with 0x0, which is 0xe itself. And notice that since 0xe, XOR with 0x4 equals 0x2, we can say that 0xe, XOR with 0x4, XOR with 0x4 equals 0xe. This means that this expression is equal is this expression which, which is equivalent to this expression so you can substitute 0x2 in so 0x2 x over 0x4 equals 0xe notice that we retrieve the original byte right here 
uh, right here by knowing two bytes 0x4 and 0x2 we can retrieve 0xe guess what we just retrieved the intermediate block byte so back to our example question mark xor with 0x9 xor with uh, our chosen manipulate our manipulating byte become the plain text 0x5 which return no errors so question mark x0 x9 equals 0x5 0x5 x0 x9 equals question mark which equals 0xc which means we know the byte at this place is 0xc so how do we do padding oracle attack so we don't know this and we want this and we can just try the cipher check of the previous block we can try random jump until this byte becomes 0x01 so we want this intermediate block we can manipulate the cipher text of the previous block and we know the padding byte because it returned no error so 0xf x over 0x2 equals 0xe now we have brute force this intermediate block byte to, and we build an intermediate block and x over the original cipher text block to get the plain text so when we have the full intermediate block right here, we can just XOR it with the cipher text of the original cipher text of the previous block, and then we have the plain text, the 16 bytes plain text block right here. But you might be asking, how do you get the next byte? Well, since we know the last byte of the intermediate block, we can crack the next next one because we can still manipulate the padding right here. We know two bytes, which is to know the what value to value to manipulate late to get two bytes here which mean manipulate the side the byte this byte right here until this one return no padding error that would mean uh, so so then we know this and we know this so we can get this this is what it would look like so you have this right here you have this you can figure out this one and then we we can manipulate this until this one return no padding error which means this byte is now 0x02 which means we actually these two is 0x0a and we just crack the next byte and continue until you hope until you get the whole text uh, once you have the full intermediate text you XOR that with the original cipher text know that you do not need the last block of the, of the original cipher text the last block right here is not needed uh, Yep, intermediate block two and block one XOR with that with the intermediate block two XOR with original cipher block. We get plain text block two, block one XOR with orig IV vector the the IV and then you get plain text block one. So that this is what it would look like. Cipher text here is unchanged. Uh, we get the intermediate block right here X uh, XOR with cipher text. We get the plain text. Yeah get all the intermediate block right here, you, uh, you XOR with cyber text, cyber text and it's IV vector and you get the plain text. And how do you encrypt? Well we know the now you know how to get the intermediate text and we know what the plain what we want the plain text to be. The our encryption, our encry uh, our plain text we want to be after the decryption, which means you can do just do the this x or with this which would you will get the the cipher text to manipulate the plain text right here so this is what it will look like you uh, you get the intermediate text right here and you choose this the cipher check to get our desired plain text but then that would mean this cipher text here decrypt to garbage right here well you can just get this garbage uh, and decrypt it and brute force the intermediate block and then change this cipher text to get our plain text just like this one so what happened on a new block just like with POA just brute force the intermediate block and then chooses what to export it where to form the plain, plain text plain text will be garbage on the second to last block just treat them as bytes and not as characters and what happened when you reach the IV? Just pop down a new 16 bytes block. Can be anything. I prefer to just use a block of 16 no bytes and treat the old IV as just another cipher block. You can keep on adding more IV blocks just like this. So this is the original one IV, cipher block one, cipher block two. 
Now this is the old one, you just plug it, plop out a new IV plug right here. And notice how it looks like just like a just like another cipher text block. This one looks the same as this one, it's just that this one have one more block. So that's it, that's how you do it.